Hi, my name is Georgia Boxer, and I'm a licensed professional counselor here in the state of Illinois and a psychotherapist at Insights Therapy Services located in Homewood. Uh, so what would I say to a client um, that is nervous about starting therapy? You know, that is, first I would say it's totally normal. Um, it probably means you're in the right place. And, um, you know, then I would go on to say, you know, congratulate them, tell them, um, you know, what immense courage it takes to even, you know, just begin therapy. Um, and that also, you know, they're, the client is never alone in this process. Um, you know, I know it can be intimidating or scary, um, but, you know, that's part of my job and that's uh, why I'm here, you know, is to help you guide you through that process, support you through that process, um, and make sure that, you know, everything comes out okay. Um, what type of coping skills would I, uh, do I find work well for my clients? So generally, um, recently actually, gratitude lists have been a huge thing that I've been suggesting for my clients. Um, and it's something I also do myself um, as part of my own just kind of like daily maintenance, um, but also like a coping skill. You know, it, it's a good reset for, you know, your mood and just like your outlook on life, um, you know, when feeling down or uh, a little stuck. Um, another one I like to use is journaling. Um, more just like a free write, no prompts needed, just, you know, letting, um, whatever's in your head come out on the paper, get it out of our minds, get it out of our bodies. Um, and also then, um, I might suggest some type of physical movement. I like to call it like a bold, but controlled quick physical movement, something like jumping jacks for 10 seconds or 20 seconds, you know, just to release that like a quick burst of energy release just so that you can get rid of those, you know, maybe physical anxiety symptoms, um, just to, you know, boost your mood for a minute. Uh, so what do I love about helping a client transform? Um, well, pretty much everything. Um, you know, of course I love to see clients making progress. Um, I love, you know, when clients are, you know, taking what they're, we've discussed or processed in session and, you know, taking act, actioning it outside of session, you know, trying new things in the out, in the real world. Um, those are also amazing, but really for me, um, you know, what do I love about helping client, client transform is just, I love getting to know my clients. Um, I love that rapport building, you know, I love when, you know, you can feel in session that we're both comfortable in the room together, that there's trust there, mutual respect. Um, you know, that's probably my favorite part um, about helping a client transform, building that relationship. Uh, so then how do I cope with stress? That's a really great question. So firstly, uh, I have my own therapist um, who is very helpful. <laughs> and then, you know, in addition to that, I also have the emotional support um, you know, just a small network of uh, an emotional support system of family and close friends, um, select family members and friends. Um, and I can rely on to, you know, have that reciprocal um, relationship with, you know, where we can give and receive emotional support for each other um, while also maintaining each other's boundaries, um, which is another one that has really helped me cope with stress over the years, learning to set and maintain my own boundaries and respect those of others as well. Um, returning to nature for me is also a huge way that I um, cope with stress. Uh, really just that, along with a gratitude list, really just allows me to step outside myself, um, you know, if only for a minute and, you know, just see that, you know, the, there are things that are greater than me, bigger than me, bigger than, you know, what I'm feeling anxious about. Um, you know, there's a, there's a greater purpose to this world than just me and those things that I am, you know, having worries about in that moment. So then, uh, when I'm working with a client, what pulls me into their story and life? So similar to returning to nature, you know, being with a client really allows me to, you know, kind of get out of my own head, uh, let my own biases fall to the floor, 
um, you know, which is not easy, but this is, it's, it's a very unique situation that, um, you know, presents that opportunity for me, uh, or for any clinician. And, um, you know, it really just lets you see things from someone else's experience. Uh, you know, as a therapist working with clients in therapy is, you know, it's, it's like taking a walk through someone else's life, taking a walk through someone else's lived experience, which is so, you know, rare that you get to do that, be, um, you know, led into someone's world like that. Um, and, you know, I just, I, I really respect that honor and, um, you know, I take it very seriously and I really enjoy doing it. So what led me, um, into this helping field? Uh, I have been in some type of helping pos field position, uh, pretty much since I started working, um, my, Prior to becoming a therapist, I worked in the nonprofit se sector. I um, worked in the legal field, um, doing environmental law. I was very always, you know, um, helping focused, social justice focused. Um, but having had my own positive experience in therapy for many, many years, pretty much on and off throughout my whole life, I felt that, you know, therapy pretty much, this position or this field pretty much found me. 